Hey, I'm back. I'm back. Um, now this is part two on um dealing with witchcraft mandates. Well, you know you're dealing with a um evil gang up, evil it's called a really an evil conspiracy. Um, when you know wicked men and women are used against a, a child of God. <clears throat> like I said, you don't have to do nothing to these type of people. You can just be targeted. Remember the, the enemy, First Peter five eight. The Lord said, to, "Um, be be so, <clears throat> be vigilant, vigilant." Be sober minded for your for this your adversary Satan is going around like a lion seeking whom he may devour. So he's gonna always use who he can use against any person that's a child of God. Like I said, he he uses false prophets, he uses people in the church, he uses church members that come in a form of light, just like Satan, that it'll be used against you. Um so with that being said, this is about men and women trying to curse you. And the Lord always said, if you go to numbers twenty, let's go to numbers. No, the lack tried to curse the children of Israel out. <clears throat> and it failed. The Lord converted it to blessing. So if you go to Numbers 23, let's go to number 23. There we go. Now, if you go to chapter, verse 1 of 23, it says, And Balak said, said unto Balak, Build me his seven altars, and prepare me his seven oxen, and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken. So this is dealing with altars. You have evil altars that people get on. You know, just how we go to church to praise the Lord. Your people, they use the altars for Satan, for satanic reasons. And they can do all type of things. They can sacrifice you. They can take it. Um, they can change your life for their life. Your glory for their glory. Your health for their health. And they can sell your, your, your people. They can invoke your soul on the altar and sell it. It's called a witchcraft market. So these are the, this is why the Lord said we um we are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. You know, we perish because we don't know these things. Because we don't seek the Lord's wisdom and knowledge and his reproof and his counsel. And he always said he will laugh at our calamity. So we pretty much do these things to ourselves. All of us do. Unless we turn around then, you know, even after that, it's going to be like a hard, it's not going to be easy. Because, you know, it's like we dug ourselves in a hole. You know, we pretty much in the orange snare. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, is a lot of you in this net. A lot of he has a lot of us in this pit. And the only way we can get out of that is if the Lord gets, gets us out. Just like a snare when an animal gets stuck in an animal trap. The, the more harder he moves, the more um stuck he gets. So <clears throat> we pray and ask for the Lord's mercy in constant, in, in constant, persistent prayer. The Lord will pluck our feet out of the net of the enemy. He will pluck our feet. Um, Psalms 124 says, um, our soul does escape like a bird out of the snares and the fowler, and the snares are broken. So we to pray. Number, oh, so he said, but I had spoken to Balak, but that offer on it on every altar of Balak and the ram. So he he seven altars he's using. This is how determined he is to try to destroy <coughs> the children of Israel. And Balak said to Balak, stand by the burnt offering, and I will go private adventure. The Lord will come to meet thee. Meet me. And whatsoever whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went to an high place with God met Balaam. And said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and I have offered a, upon a, every altar of Balak. And, ram. and the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return to Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. And let's scroll down to verse 7. He said, and he took up his parable. Before you even know, he said, he stood by his burnt sacrifice. He said, he and all his princes of Moab. So even all the princes joined in on this. And he took, the, took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, and he brought me forth. He brought me from Aram, out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, defy Israel. How should I curse whom God have not cursed? Or how should I defy whom the Lord have not defied? For for the top of the righteous of the Lord. He said, you should not curse these people. He said, for, for the top of the rock, I see him. And for the hills, behold, lo, the people shall dwell alone. And shall not reckon, be reckoned among the nations. And it says this, who can count the dust of Jacob? And the number of the fourth part of Israel. Let me die the death of the righteous. This is what Balaam said. He said, let me die the death of, the, of them. And let me let my ass my, let my last be be like his. <clears throat> so Balaam is, you know, he has an open eye. He's being receptive, but but lack. He's being used by the devil. Um, so if you go to Numbers twenty three, verses twenty uh twenty. And this is this is what the Lord this is the promise where the Lord says will be able to But if we don't warfare, we don't invoke these scriptures. Like I'm saying, you know, just like we we're reading the scriptures. If we're praying on, on top of 
Hey, this is what is warfare against the enemy's plans and his words has been spoken against. But if you keep silent, like Esther said, if it, if I would have had, if I would have kept my mouth closed, you would have been born women and born men. You would have been in bondage. You would have been sold. So you would have been sold into captivity. So it says, behold, verse one, behold, I receive commandment to bless. This is what Balaam said. He keeps reiterating to Balak, you know, I can't curse these people. The Lord said, I can't. See, behold, I receive commandment to bless. That he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. So, you know, you're going to have an evil priest or priestess, or witch, or wizard, or warlock, so just consistently trying to curse a person over and over. And, and the Lord will frustrate it. He said, And he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. He hath not beheld any iniquity in Jacob, neither hath he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is his God, is with him in the top of in the shadow of the king is among them. God brought them out. So, what do you kind of clear? That we are blessed, our families are blessed. Our health is blessed, our future is blessed, our, our destiny, our career, our ministry is blessed. We declare and declare that our marriage is blessed. We declare and declare that our job, our ministry, our career should be blessed. We declare and declare everything that concerns us should be blessed. And no devil can first. We declare we are blessed. For those who ask, by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that our love us, our friends, colleagues, our destiny us are blessed. For those who ask, we declare and declare even in famine, even in obscurity, even in anguish, even in financial battle, marital battle. Um, health better, we decree we shall be blessed by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. And even over any spiritual enemy, we decree we shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Say so God brought him out of Egypt, which he did. God brought him out of Egypt. And he hath as word the strength of a unicorn. And surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. Now, the divination is anything that's used by a, um, a witch or which an agent of the devil. And they divine to look into your future, to frustrate your life, to, to stop it, to cut it off. And incantations and anything that people, um, enchantment, they can enchant your name in front of an evil mirror. Your name will show up, they can enchant death. They can enchant your name, speak death over your name, sickness, um, destruction, murder, kidnap, poverty, shame, reproach over you, whoever they're trying to target. So the Lord is saying, surely there's no enchantment against Jacob, neither, neither, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to the time which we said of Jacob, and of Israel with head God brought. So we declare and decree that there is no enchantment against me and our household, our friends, and all that concerns. We declare and declare that there is any divination against us that shall prosper. We condemn it. We are arrested by the blood of Jesus. And that he will backfire to the sender. Backfire to the sender. Backfire to the sender. For the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, <coughs> so behold, the people shall rise up. As a grain lion, and lift up himself as a young lion, and shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. And Balak said to Balaam, neither curse him at all, nor bless him at all. So the Lord said, don't curse him, nor bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. So the Lord converted the blessing. Now, if we go to this last part, um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Can't find it. Um, Let's just go to the next verse. We're going to go to the book of Daniel 6. Now, this is about Daniel. Now, Daniel was conspired against by, you know, rulers, governors, um, councils, and the king. But this is another, another um, situation. Daniel found favor in the sight of a king. So, they conspired against Daniel because they were jealous of him because his, he had an excellent spirit with him. He had supernatural gifts. So, they sought to, um, and the king sought to, you know, set him as king over all the realm. So, they wanted to conspire against him, come, you know, try to come up with lies by using, again, this is witchcraft, conjure up lies. So, people, this is called a witchcraft conspiracy. Um, Daniel 3, I mean, Daniel 6, let's go to Daniel 6. So, you have a lot of people, it's a lot of people that believe that's, that are children of God that are in prison and jail right now. They didn't do anything. You have people that have a court date to go to, um, you got to go to court for something they didn't, they didn't do. For something that they didn't, they are not a, not a part of. No matter how much evidence they have, you know, there's a lot of people that face this, these type of situations in the flesh. They didn't pray against it. They said, "Man, look, I got all the evidence," but it was orchestrated by demons. So no matter the evidence or how much uh, innocent they are, they're still in prison and they're going to go to prison because they're not praying against it. This is demonic orchestrations. Implications. Um, so we cancel every demonic implication and orchestration. 
We cancel by the blood of Jesus Christ. We let it be fresh in it. Or the mighty will declare the show backfire. Or the mighty name of Jesus. So Daniel 6. And um, so right here. And it pleased Darius to set set um over the kingdom. So it, it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 princesses, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first. So Daniel, that the princes might give it accounts unto them that the king should have no damage. That is, Daniel was preferred. So the king preferred Daniel above the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was in him that the king thought to set him over on the whole realm. So this would this would open the door for jealousy and envy. You know, you have people that, that that are jealous of us in the workplace because they, we were promoted and they weren't. You have people that are jealous because you know they could see the glory of God in our life, they could see the favor of the Lord in our life, and now they, they're being used by the devil to try to you know get you fired, get you hurt, to get you arrested, or even kill you. So um, so they're the princess is. Then just look spiritual wickedness how many places. Principalities. So then the presidents and the prince sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion, no fault. So the devil will always try to find, look for an opening to try to accuse you of something. But they could find none occasion, no fault, for as much as he was faithful, and neither was there any error of fault for them. Then these men, we, sh we shall find none occasion, they say we shall find none occasion against Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. So, they, so since he couldn't find any fault, they use their authority and you know influence to make a law. So there's another decree. Then these presidents and princesses and so they got to, king, to the king and said thus unto him, King Darius, live forever. Let all the presidents of the kingdom, let the governors, let the princesses and the counselors and the cabinets have consulted together to establish a royal statute. Let them make a firm decree that whoso shall ask of a petition of any god or man for thirty days. So they're coming up. They're saying any anyone that will try to pray to a God for 30 days, they will be, look, say but they okay, and should be cast into the den of lions. So they thought that this would prevent Dan from praying to the Lord, which he never bowed down to this this law. And it said, now, okay, establish a decree and sign the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the letters and purse, which aren't with not. But for the king, sign the writing and the decree. And they didn't. When Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went and so he still prayed. He went into the house, and his windows was being opened in the chamber toward Jerusalem. He nailed upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. And he did, so he prayed three times as he did a four times, as he did before. So they kept the same model, the same program. That these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplications. So they were already, you know, wanting to see so they can find occasion against him. Make a supplication before his God. Then they came near and spake before the king concerning the king's decree. Has thou not signed a decree? Is what he sent to the king. Has not so he planned this. Has thou not found a sign a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any god or man thirty days, save what the old king shall be cast into the den of lions? Question mark. The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the medicine and the prayers of which are do not. Then answered and they had said before the king that Daniel, which is the children of the captivity. So the children of Judah are in captivity. So he is, you know. Uh, all the, basically, we're in captivity now in this day. So he is the children of the, of the captivity of Judah, regard or not the king, O king, nor did the decree that they are signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. So they're reporting him to the king. That the king, when he heard these words, was so displeased. So even the king felt displeased that this was even happening. So he felt displeased within himself and set his heart on down to deliver him. And he labored to the, he labored to the going down of the sun to deliver him. So then, then these men assembled to the king and said unto the king, Oh no, O king, that the law of the medicine of Persians is, Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king established. So the king tried to even change it, but they said, You can't change it. The king established may be changed. Then the king commanded that he brought Daniel and cast him to the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto them, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. So the king is on the side of Daniel. He said, The God that you serve, he shall deliver you. And the stone was brought. And laid upon a uh, upon a mouth of the den, <clears throat> and the king sealed it with his own signet. So whenever the devil wants to try to destroy a people or person, he will always use people of influence, power, or the voice. He will never use anyone who can't push buttons. So it said, and with the signet of his lords, 
that, that the purpose might not be changed concerning the day that the king went into his palace and passed the night fast. So even a, even a king saw the fashion like damn. <laughs> see how the, the Lord is given. See how the Lord change, can even touch the heart of kings. Amen. It says this. In the night fast, and neither were instruments of music. So no music was even played for the king. Said and music went, brought before him. It was no music. It is sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in the case <clears throat> to the den of lions. When he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said, Daniel, O Daniel. So the king checked on Daniel. Sir and the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth, that they have not hurt me. Said for for as much as before him in and in sea was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt? Then was the king exceedingly glad, but the king was glad that there was no hurt done upon him, and commanded that he should take Daniel up out of the den. So you know the devil has a ways to put us in a trap like this, like Daniel was put in. But by divine by divine intervention and by the Lord's grace and mercy and by praying, this was turned around for, um, in his favor. And they said, O king, I have done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no man of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. And the king commanded they brought those men which had accused Daniel and they cast them, cast them into the den of lions. And them. So those same people that brought accusations against. So you would call this the Santana accusations. So the same people that brought the accusations against Daniel, the king threw them into the den of lions and their children and their wives. And the lions had to master them and break all their bones in pieces. Whatever they came at the bottom of the den. Of the den. Then the king Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell on the earth. Peace be multiplied unto you. So now look, the king is now worshiping and honoring the, the God of Daniel. I make a decree that in every domain in my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he's a living God and stuff. So the Lord, it doesn't matter how wicked a person is, how much power a person has, the Lord can touch heart of any man in this earth. It doesn't matter. The Lord, the power of the Lord is overpowers any darkness. Said um, it said, I make a decree that in every domain in my kingdom, men tremble. In fear before the God of Daniel, for he is a living God, and steadfast forever. That his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed, and his domain shall be even unto the end. Amen. So and he delivers, he rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in the heaven and in the earth, who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the line. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius, and in the reign of Cyrus the Persia. So it was right there. So we declare declare any den of lines that the enemies have put us in. That is put our lovers in, whether it's concerned our freedom, our health, our life, our soul, our spirit, whether it was spiritual bondage, physical bondage, whether it's concerning oppression, witchcraft oppression, affliction, um, witchcraft attack, any witchcraft mandates to carry out any wickedness upon us, upon our lovers, upon the church, our family. We decree that he will show backfire in the name of Jesus. It show backfire in the name of Jesus. For to let the plan of the enemy, that is sure, that it. Back from their images. They don't fall to their own destruction. They don't fall to their own destruction. They don't fall to their own destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We have one more. And then we're going to do these prayers. And even in Isaiah 10.1. This is what the Lord says. Isaiah chapter 10. Sorry. Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah chapter 10 says, Woe unto them. That decree, unrighteous decrees, that that right grievousness, which they, those those lieutenants and provinces did, those rulers, right? So if woe unto them, woe means judgment. Judgment unto them that decree, unrighteous decrees, that that right grievousness, which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that their widows may be their prey, that that in debt they may rob the fatherless. And what will you do in the day of visitation, the Lord says, and in the desolation which shall come from far? It says, to whom will you flee for help? And where will you leave your glory? Without me they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all his for this, all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out to him. So the Lord is giving a warning to people that do these things, which they did. You see what happened. Their their own imaginations, it backfired. So we declare that every wicked imagination. We cast it. We declare the clear. They shall fall by their own imaginations. Whether it's an unfriendly friend, unfriendly neighbor. 
a landlord, um, agents, witches, witches, household enemy. But you can declare that your father that owns your imagination. But you can imagine it should be their own portion of the mighty name of Jesus. It should be their own portion of the mighty name of Jesus. But those imaginations against wicked imagination against our family, our friends, our lovers, our colleagues, our does help concern our health, our life, our soul, our blessings, our deliverance, our breakthrough. But you can it show back for on the head. But you can it show back for on the head. But you can it show back for on the head. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So let's go to Acts 12. Oh. Um, sorry guys. Let's go right here. And, you know, this is seeing my sicknesses. The devil's trying to get everyone sick. And let's go to Acts 12. And this is another another king. If you go to Herod, I'm oh, just about Herod. Look what he did. He um pretty much he used to be a witcher. This is another form of sorcery. Um let's go to Acts chapter 12. This is wicked. This is what the devil does. You know, the devil wants to be same wants to be like the Lord. So of course, he's gonna always try to use people of influence and their voice. Um, what is that? Go to Acts chapter twelve, verse one. And I'm over here passing over and over. Okay, chapter of John. So Acts chapter twelve. And it says this. Um. Here we go. It says, now, about that time, here all the king stretched forth his hands with the vex, sir, to under church. So, vexation is anything that's bewitching. It's a form of witchcraft. And he killed James. So, this is where the here about the king here was on. He killed James. He beheaded, he beheaded James, the Lord's servant, the brother of John, but the sword. Um, and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then, were the days of unleavened bread, but he had apprehended him. He put him in prison and delivered him to four quarantines. I'm so just to keep him intending at the Eastern to bring him forth to the people. So he beheaded James and the scene scene he seen that that pleased the Jews. So he it, it just it um what's the word how can I say it persuaded him to do it some more. So um it said Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made up without ceasing for the church unto unto God for him. So this is a spiritual bondage. You have you know the devil will use his agents to keep you in bondage. This is just like being in prison. You can't move forward you can't you can't advance your career. You can't even you might be even going through a physical, spiritual siege where you can't even seem to get a job or career. And you can't move forward and um you can't even get promotion. You can't get a breakthrough. The limits concerning your issues, whatever's going on, whether it's financial limitation, financial bondage, you can't get a job. The enemy might be frustrating you on getting a job. So at this at this point he's pro the enemy could be programming rejection. So that's why a lot of people and even me, you know, we will apply for a job and you have wicked men and women that are programming. They put in spells to this and you'll never get a job, you never prosper. Amen. Um, so the Lord said, But prayer was made without ceasing out of the church into government. So this is what prayer does. If you pray without ceasing, right? And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers, and for the door kept the prison. Behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. And the light shined into the prison and smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, I'm rising up quickly. And the chains fell off, fell, off, fell off. So, from off. So, a lot of us have spiritual chains on our hands and our feet that is keeping us from prospering. A lot of our loved ones have spiritual chains upon their hands and feet that is keeping us from advancing, moving forward in life. Whether it's your ministry, job, your business, or career. So, um, this is like bushcraft, bondage, bushcraft chains, ancestral chains, demonic chains. That uh that is that uh you know keeping us in one place. You know, the the devil wants us to die off poor. He wants us to die poor in his life. You know, anything that has to do with poverty is, is demonic. And so uh, so a lot of us have a wrong in the a wrong mis, uh, perception of having money. And uh, even I did, you know, a lot of people say um, you know, money's the root of evil. It can be the root of it if you don't know what to do with it. Because when people get rich, they tend to um fill the flesh. And they get demonized with the spirit of mammon. Mammon is the spirit. When we when we when we worship money and, it, and we allow greed to come overcome us, we're worshiping the spirit of mammon, and that's why people go mad when they get they get money, and they tend to go do all type of wickedness with it. You know, when people start um, buying uh, start buying prostitutes, um, 
making strip joints, um, you know, getting guns to murder people, um, all type of wickedness. So this is done by because people aren't, you know, the Lord already said the device of our heart is already, it's already dark, <clears throat> it's already wicked. So that's why the Lord says, seek ye the kingdom first, and all these things should be added added unto you. The right, he said, trust the Lord in all your ways, and not as the Lord, he shall direct your path. And um, it is in the Bible, um, it said, the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. So you got to let the Lord to direct our paths. If we don't, you know, that's why you see a lot of people killing themselves, millionaires, rich people, no matter if they're a rap star, music star, pop star, movie star, a, a rich politician, but they, they end up killing themselves because, you know, they're not doing the right things but what the Lord has given them. Given them. So this was divine intervention. The Lord, so we ask for the God concerning our health, concerning our life, concerning our destiny, concerning our family, concerning our job, the ministry, concerning our application, concerning relocation. We, for the God, we ask for a divine intervention. For the we ask for a divine intervention. We decree and declare divine intervention, divine encounters, divine intervention. For the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, whether it's concerning our job, our ministry, we decree divine intervention. Whether it's concerning legal issues, we decree divine intervention. Whether it's concerning our church family, online and offline, in reality or virtual, we decree divine intervention. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And last but not least, if you go to Acts 12, verses um, uh, 21, it said, And upon a said day, here all the reign royal apparel, set upon a stone, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. That immediately, so, like I said, <clears throat> he vexed certain other people. He, he bewitched them to, you know, to look at him like he was a God. And even in the um, Revelation, said many will be false Christ. And Matthew Mark said many will come in my name. It will be false prophets and false, false Christ. And even elect, very elect, will be, you know, deceived. So this is what's going on. So on the point of said they hear the radio and royal power was set upon his throne. It been an oration unto them, you know, by lines, signs, wonders. Which will these false prophets will be doing, right? And it says that the people gave a shout. It is a voice of a God, not of a man. It immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not the God the glory that he was eating of worms and gave it the ghost. But the word of God grew in multiplied. So this was his whole plan to stop the multiplication of the word from spreading, and it's still multiplying, it's still spread. And Barnabas and Saul returned <coughs> from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry, and to them with John. His surname was Mark. So, you know, you have wicked men and women. There's no turnaround for certain people in his life. They had to be destroyed. Had, the Lord has to strike them, just like he, he had to um, destroy Pharaoh's army and even Pharaoh. Um, so, Herod, Jezebel, Haman, these are all stubborn pursuers and unrepentant enemies. That means they have no no turnaround and no repentance. So, it doesn't matter if they get found guilty, but they'll still come and try to destroy you. Your health, your finances, your, your your status, your living situation, your family, just like the, in um, Esther, you want to you want to exterminate all the Jews. So this is spiritual wickedness, rulers of darkness, principalities, um, and spiritual wickedness, high places that operate through people. Um, so that being said, let's read, let's do these prayers. Before you pray, let's um, just give thanks to the Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you for your grace, your mercy. We know that you are in our midst. For you say you will never forsake us, no leave us. We know that the enemy has no say so over you, nor your power, and nothing can over overrule your hand. In Jesus' name, we declare and declare that we are blessed and favor shall locate us and our lovers concerning our life, concerning our destiny, our future, concerning our blessings, our deliverances, our breakthroughs. In Jesus' name, we cover this with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our elements, mind, body, soul, and spirit. We will soak our star, our destiny, our virtues, and glory of the blood of Jesus Christ. We will saturate our environment with the blood of Jesus Christ. We even soak our prayers and our dreams and visions in the blood of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we repent of every known unknown sin. In Jesus' name, we ask you to see that you cleanse us and wash us clean from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. In Jesus Christ, man, we bless you. We thank you. We give you all the honor, all the glory. In Jesus' name, all of you, none of us, take control of this prayer. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. So let's do it. Now, repeat that to me. So, you know, but just watching this, these videos, these scriptures, reading in the prayer points, and these prayers that I'm about to pray, you know, you will learn how to pray more against wickedness that's going to increase in the earth. 
So, um, let's do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, any witchcraft vengeance commissioned against me, my lovers, and all those that concern me this week, this month, this year, and by, the, by your finger, look, let it backfire in the name of Jesus. Let it backfire in the name of Jesus. Let it backfire in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, any witchcraft vengeance commissioned against me, my family, my lovers, and all that concerns me, whether it's the, the, today, or this week, this month, this year, oh God of ours, by, the, by your finger, let it Back for under them, Jesus. That they back for under them, Jesus. That they back for under them, Jesus. That they backfire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Now, let's go to the next one. We're going to say, My Father, my Lord, send down, O Lord, as you send down angelic individual on behalf of Peter, but he was bound him and changed in the prison. God of God's release divine intervention to disappoint. Every which their plans and imagination against me, but them and all that concerns me. And them might know what Jesus. But we, we, we even stand together now for our cities, our states, our town, our nation. Does you send down angelic division, divine division to disappoint every which their plans and imaginations against us? That the evil be fresh with it. And them might know Jesus. That it be fresh with it. And them might know what Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We decree it is fresh with it. It should be disappointed. Of the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And let's do it. And then the next one's going to say, O God of ours, and vengeance, O Lord, and avenge me. Avenge our lovers. Avenge our friends. Avenge our destiny of us. Avenge our family for my adversaries today. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. Avenge us, O Lord, O God of ours, and your wrath, and avenge us of every stubborn sore. Avenge us of every unrepentant enemy. Avenge us of every wicked man and woman. Of the mighty name of seed that hurt. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Then we're going to go to the next one. Then we're going to say, My Father, Lord, whatever has been programmed to speak evil against our health, our destinies, our lovers today, oh Lord, let them receive divine, let them receive errors of destruction, of the mighty name of Jesus. Let them receive the errors of destruction, of the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of pause. In Psalm 7, the Lord said, um, I said, if he's turned not, he will wear his glittering sword. He has prepared for them the instruments of death, and he has ordained his arrows for the persecutors. So, you know, Jesus went through persecution. Paul went through persecution. Peter went through persecution. John went through persecution. Um, the 12 disciples went through persecution. Uh, we go, we're go. we going to go through persecution. And what does it mean? The neighbors, friends, family, police, whatever it is, uh, false witnesses, uh, counselors, rulers, lieutenants, uh, your family, enemies, neighbors, persecution. We're going to go through it. So we decree and declare for the whatever's been programmed into the womb of time to speak um, against our destiny. So our lovers and all that concern us, and, and even our church family, online and online. Oh, Lord, let us see the instruments of destruction. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Let us see the instruments of death. In the name of Jesus. All those that plan destruction against us. Oh, good about that, that evil backfire. And let it turn into the instruments of death. In the name of Jesus. That they return to the entrance of death to the camp of our enemies. Oh, the mighty enemy. Every stubborn of sword. Every unrepentant enemy. Oh, God of ours. And that they will see the entrance of death. And that they rest them in upon them. And that they rest them in upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us do this. We're going to say, we're going to throw, you know, you know, we have authorities in the spiritual, in the heavenlies. We have spiritual authorities, altars, thrones that are meditating against us, against cities, against states. You have things. You have authorities, principalities that are in control, and even gatekeepers, evil gatekeepers. Yeah, they're in control of cities, states, towns, and nations, and they pretty much um, they're the reason what reason why things come in and come out. They kind of control what happens in the city, the state, whatever the laws, um, pretty much everything, jobs, everything. So we do kind of for the Lord any wicked authority deliberating on my life and the life of my lovers. Oh, Lord, let it scatter by fire. For the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, every wicked authority deliberating on my life and the life of my lovers and I um, consider our future and our destiny. Oh, God, let it scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. That they will be scattered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The devil is a liar. Oh, don't mention the name of Jesus. And he always is lying. Amen. He will always try to whisper in your ear. Amen. So now let's go to the next one. Now, the Lord said, 
uh, uh, not my angels, men are angels. So little do you know, each and every person in this earth has and um, guardian angels. And to let you know, angels are way more stronger and more powerful than demons. They have more say so and they have more power than any demon. So we had to use them, we had to use them through prayer and put them to work. Each and every one of us have a guardian angel. When we don't pray, it's just like them standing there waiting for you to give them, them um, you know, a word to do, to carry out on, on your behalf of you, your family, your city, your state, or, uh, and nation, and your loved ones. So we the Lord in the name of Jesus. We caught up on the house of heaven, Lord God. Arise and get up the head. Of any ancestral problems that wants to re re resurrect my life and the life of my family. Of the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my father, release the angelic host to cut off the head of any ancestral problems that wants to resurrect my life and the life of my lovers. Oh God of us, that any ancestral problem that wants to resurrect my life and my lovers. Oh release the host of heaven. Let it be cut off. Let the evil be cut off. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now we're going to say, any child of the devil occupy my seat of glory. So your glory is basically God's favor and everything that is mapped out for your life. You have wicked men and women that can exchange your destiny for theirs. They can take your destiny and leave you off high and dry and going through all manner of wickedness. And even experience premature death, untimely death. So you can really reap some of else's consequences in life. John 10, 10, the thief come up for the stem, kill, destroy. But the Lord came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. So, um, Jesus, if you read the book of Matthew 2, started from chapter, verse 1, um, Herod is another part of him. But that's how it is. He wanted to keep his killing the um, two-year-olds of the Jews from, two, from age 2 and under because he's seen a star of Jesus and he didn't specifically know where he was. So um, he went about killing other babies. <clears throat> and so that's why the Lord had to kill him. Um, so stargazers, stargazers, those people that stargazers, they can look into your future, see if you have a bright future or not. And these people use witchcraft. It's like a cult, to be to be honest. And it's, they divine. It's called, they went, like I said, they can divine into the future and see if you have a bright future, if you'll be a blessing. So they seen the star Jesus and see that he had a glorious future, that he'd be delivering people. That's why we're here today. And that, um, you know, you'll be delivering people and fulfill God's purpose. So Satan used him to try to stop that. <clears throat> and um, with that being said, um, you still first with it. So you have, we all have stars. And stars is pretty much our glory, our soul. And you have with evil men and women that can capture your star and cage it. It exchange it through evil altars, through incantations, through evil utterances. <clears throat> So, in the name of Jesus Christ, and each child of the devil, occupy my seat of glory, let the glory of my Lord. Oh Lord, let them be seated by fire! Let them be seated by fire! Let them be seated by fire! Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. For the any child of the devil, any wicked man and woman, that is occupying our seats of our glory, God arise in your wrath, let them be seated by fire! Let them be Jesus. Let them be seated by fire! Let them be Jesus. Let them be seated by fire! In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now, let's go to the next prayer. Then we're going to say, Witchcraft altars offering sacrifices against me on any of those to catch one better than the ashes. Catch one better than the ashes. Catch one better than the ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Exodus 22, verse 18. Said, Thou shalt not suffer which you live. And anyone that sacrifices unto any god should be utterly destroyed. So, um, so anyone sacrificing, trying to sacrifice, you know, they will be utterly destroyed. So we declare that any that anyone that 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 any wicked agents of God, any priests or priests that are offered sacrifice against me, my domains and my friends today, in that image, that they will back from that image, Jesus, that they back from that image, Jesus, that them die by their own sacrifice, that them. Die by their own sacrifice. Let them die by their own sacrifice. I decree they shall die by their own sacrifice. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's go to the next one. Now we have evil rope. You know, a lot of us don't even know. You can have evil rope, evil chains, evil, evil bondage, um, evil cages. So, 
We get men and women can tie you down, tie us down to keep us tied. You can't move. So we're going to say every evil rope of death put on me and my numbers towards any covenant of artists. Brag by fire and dead in my Jesus. Brag by fire and dead in my Jesus. Brag by fire and dead in my Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord, every evil rope of death put on me and my numbers towards any covenant of artists. Dead in. Brag by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, um, let's do it. We're saying, oh God of Elijah, arise for my sake today. And overshadow my life and all those that concern us. Overshadow your people. In the name of Jesus, with a cloud of your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you read the book of First Kings, chapter 18, um, verses starting from 20 or 46, you know, Elijah told Ahab to keep looking up into the heaven. Um, look, keep looking toward the sea to see if you see a cloud. And he kept saying, I don't see a cloud. And he said, keep looking. And it took him some time to look. And he said, a cloud. And it was like a little hand. So that was the Lord's. You know, the Lord is everything we see on earth. He's a cloud. So the Lord appeared unto them over the sea as a hand, like a hand, shape of a hand of a cloud. <clears throat> so this is equivalent to the many times that we should pray to the Lord concerning any issue in life. And even more than that. Pray without ceasing, the Lord says. Um, so that, that was that was God's glory. So when this is why we say, Oh God of Elijah, arise, O Lord, arise, O Lord, for our sake, for the sake of your people, and overshadow us with your glory, with the cloud of your glory, O the mighty name of Jesus. Overshadow our health, overshadow our family, overshadow our destiny, overshadow our career, overshadow our business, overshadow our ministry, overshadow our friends. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus, with the glory of cloud, with the cloud of your glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And we're going to say, any dark authority boasting to delay the angels assigned to me, oh, Lord God, about them, die by fire. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father. Any dark authority boasting to, de to delay our angels assigned to us, let them die by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you read the book of Daniel 10, Daniel again, he was praying. He was mourning for 121 days, equivalent to three, let me see, 121 days. Uh, uh, three weeks. He was going through three weeks of mourning and uh, he was fasting and praying. A lot of us are fasting and praying towards something. And no changes are going, uh, coming through, no deliverances, no breakthroughs, no miracles. We're still suffering, We're still going through bondage or slavery or bondage or poverty. So he didn't know that it was an evil angel <coughs> blocking his prayers. And an uh, angel probably came down and let him know that he had to fight an evil angel, Prince of Persia. So that's what goes on for a lot of us. We don't know why deliverances aren't happening. It seems like the our issues are getting worse and worse. So this is, you know, letting you know that your heavens, our heavens are, are being blocked. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, any dark authority, any evil cloud, that is a reason why that is hindering our blessings, hitting our angels. Oh, good about us, that those angels, that the evil cloud, catch you in the name of Jesus. 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 That they be scattered in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And I'm going to say, if you read the book of Psalm 91, so we should not for the terror by night, nor the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that we say at noonday. Amen. So we, the Lord doesn't want us to fear. We you know why we're out in public. When people go out, it's evil arrows going, they're flying all day. We just don't see it. Evil arrows, spiritual arrows. When we speak evil against someone, we shoot the arrows against someone. When someone gossips about you and saying you're never going to be nothing like that, they're shooting evil arrows against you, whether they know it or not. And if they're walking in the flesh, they definitely don't know. But it is being used and influenced by a demon or Satan <clears throat> to speak evil against someone. But uh, an intentional wicked man or woman, that's called a witch or wizard, agent of darkness. And they're shooting evil arrows out. It's a scripture in the Bible. It said they shoot out the lip. So, you know, they shoot out the lip, they shoot spiritual arrows against them. So, with the Queen of Clare, any arrows that fly by day or by night, at the Queen of Clare, they show backfire. I don't mind you, Jesus. We declare, declare any spiritual arrows that fly by day, by night, that is targeted against me, our lovers, our family, and all that concerns. We decree 
back to send them. Back to send them. Back to send them. Or they might change that. Any evil words of death. Back to send them. Arrows of sin and disease. Back to send them. Arrows of destruction, calamity, tragedy. Back to send them. Arrows of um, hoodoo, voodoo, juju, black magic. Back to send them. Back to send them. Or they might change that. Evil arrows of um, death, calamity, sin and disease, COVID, um, imprisonment. Accusations, embarrassment, humiliation. Back to the sender. Back to the sender. Back to the sender. But they can declare any arrows of joblessness, singleness, struggle, hardship, affliction, bewitchment, manipulation, or kidnapping, murder, assassination, suicide, premature death, untimely death. Back to the sinners. Back to the sinners. Back to the sinners. Back to the sinners. But they might say, but they any arrows of frustration, um, uh, disappointment, um, Whatever cancer, COVID, pneumonia, AIDS, HIV, whatever. Back to the center. Back to the center. Back to the center. Back to the center. A thousand times. Back to the center a million times. But it might number Jesus. But he couldn't declare. It eat arrows. Shall he get such dreams and visions? Back to the center. Back to the center. It eat arrows. The drunky adesting against over our family and lovers. Back to the center. Back to the center. But he create. It eat arrows of black magic. Sandaria, Opia, Sandaria, Polyumi. Back to the sinners. Back to the sinners. Back to the sinners. Back to the sinners. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. But it couldn't declare. Of those arrows reversed a thousand times. Of the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But it couldn't declare we should not fear the terror by day, by night, nor the arrows that fly by day. That's why the Lord said in Ephesians 6, put on a shield of faith that you may quench, may be able to quench and be free of the wicked. Amen. And I'm going to say, any occultic assembly gathered against me on any of my domains today, or good about us, release fastness of brimstone upon them. Release fastness of brimstone upon them. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of my father, my father. Any occultic assembly gathered against me in my domains concerning the church family, concerning the city, the state, this nation, to bring destruction. Go to buy these hailstones that goes to fire and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken by the brimstone of God. Let it be broken by the brimstone of God. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Read the book of Joshua 10, um, verse 11. The Lord fought for the Israelites in Joshua, and he caused hailstones to come for the heavens to destroy their enemies because they were outnumbered. And he knew if the sun were to go down, they would be destroyed. So, you know, Joshua, he listened to Joshua. Joshua knew this, actually. Joshua said, Lord, cause the sun to stand still upon Gibeon and the moon to stand still under the edge line. So, actually, more than enemies were destroyed by hailstones than they stood with the sword. So we declare the decree. Any occultic assembly, any evil gathering that is a, that is against me today, this week, this month, this year, concerning our lovers and all that concerning all that, but these the hailstones are fire and scattered them in the name of Jesus. But these hailstones are fire and scattered them in the name of Jesus. That it be brag about brimstone. That it be brag about snatch. That it be brag about fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And then we're going to say, which cabin channel? The incantations to catch our stars. Oh God, the rise that the evil backfire in the name of Jesus. That it backfire in the name of Jesus. That it backfire in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father. Any bush grab incantations, enchantments, divinations that is being used to look into our future and to even catch our stars. In the name of Jesus, that the evil backfire. 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 Let them die with the other messages. Let them die with the other ones. In the name of Jesus. Let them die with the other ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we're going to say, This day, hear the word of the Lord. This week, hear the word of the Lord. This month, hear the word of the Lord. This year, hear the word of the Lord. A decree. I command you to reject every witchcraft instructions against me and my numbers. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the bond authority of the Lord, I speak to this day. We speak to this week. We speak to this month. We speak to this year. And uh, by the blood, we command to reject every witchcraft instruction. Oh, the mighty numbers. Anyone speaking witchcraft wickedness. Oh, don't go about. Let them fall down and die by their own words. Let them die by their own words. Let them die by their own words. Let them die by their own words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And even in Psalm 5. He said, um, David said, they speak against me with a sobercus in their throat. So sobercus is like a grave. They speak, they speak words of death. So what do you can declare? Anyone speaking death against this today, 
this week, this month, this year. Of death against our family, our friends, our loved ones, against our destiny, against our soul. We decree and declare. They shall die by their own words. That they shall die by their own words. That they die by their own words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We decree it is so. Amen. And then we're going to say, last, um, we got two more prayers. And we're going to say, ask them today in the name of Jesus. Ask them today in the name of Jesus. I decree our spirit. We stand again for all those that is connected. We decree and declare from today that our spirit, our soul, and our body shall hear the word of the Lord and be are commanded to be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ against any witchcraft sacrifices. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. As for today, I speak to my lovers and our spirit, our soul, our body, and I cover us with the blood of Jesus. I cover us with the blood of Jesus against any witchcraft sacrifices. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And last but not least, we say, Heaven over my destiny. Open it up by fire. And deliver divine blessings unto me. O the mighty name of Jesus. O the mighty name of Jesus. My heaven of today. My heaven over my family. The heavens over this city. O God of us. O the but it's divine dimension. But it's divine dimensions. But it's divine blessings. Maybe they can declare according to Isaiah 60 verse. I love it. Although that the gates be open continually, O the mighty name of Jesus. That the heavens be open continually, O the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, for anyone that attempts to utter any evil utterances and can't taste the close of heavens. According to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, verses 16, um, the Lord said, This is what he, this is what he was speaking against anyone that will go outside of his statutes and his commandments and um, not, you know, be um, um, obedient to his um, statutes. It is our commandment. So he said, um, the heavens that, that is over the head should be brass. So brass, it means like a metal. That means your heavens will not go through. It will not go up in Jesus' name. Amen. And this also means, he may have said, the heavens that's under you will be um, become um, iron. So like I said, if you read the book of Genesis, he gave um, dominion to Adam and Eve to subdue the earth. Um, to subdue the earth and have dominion. To, to speak into the earth. And even Jeremiah 22, 29. Let's go down. Let's do that real quick. Jeremiah 22. Let's go to Jeremiah 22. Jeremiah 22, verses 20. Um, 29 says, this is what um, the, the servant of Christ said to the king because he was, you know, into idolatry. So the Lord used his servant to say this. Is this man cannot despise broken idol? Is he a vessel where there's no pleasure? Wherefore, are they cast out he and his seed? Are they cast into a land which they know not? It says, O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. So he's speaking to the earth. This is, the, this is the authority that the Lord has given us. We just have are, are not using. So, O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, write this man childless, a man that shall not prosper. It is days for no man of a seed shall prosper. Set it upon the throne of David and rule it anymore in, in, um, in Judah. So, we better speak to the earth right now. Hold on one second. We better do this right now against any evil man or woman that is coming against us, our family, our loved ones, coming against our soul, our destiny, our breakthrough, our inheritance, um, in, in everything that the Lord has for us. So, we decree and declare, O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare that as a child of God, whatever I speak, that's what shall happen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I, ex I exercise authority in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, you know, we're going to say, Almighty God, I pray that the earth begins to produce goodness for me, for all those that concern me. And the care. For the Lord, let no evil association, let no evil words um, be be used against us by any evil words into the ground. But the Queen of care, may this earth on this listen to me, and the should give no reply to any evil tongue. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any evil blood, any evil blood that is speaking against us, or that will be silenced by the blood of Jesus. Any evil voice speaking from the earth against us, my family, concerning our health, our freedom, our breakthrough, our deliverance, our salvation, our deliverance, our job, our career, our ministry, our ordained spouse, our marriage, our finances. Or that that voice be silenced by the blood of Jesus. That it be silenced by the blood of Jesus Christ. That I command the earth, oh earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Curse and work against any evil leg. Any evil tongue that is working against me and all that concerns me. Let the earth fight them and destroy them. 
You had to fight and be against them. By the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. And further, may the earth yield us increase for me. May it yield us increase for our lovers, our family, our friends, destiny of us, and our colleagues. In that image I decree. Oh Lord, maybe we reap a bountiful harvest on this land. In the mighty name of Jesus. In due season. Oh Lord, let the land yield its increase. And let the trees of the field yield their, their fruit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the Lord is divine. And we are the branch. Without the Lord, without the Lord, we cannot bear any fruit. Amen. So we're gonna say this. Lord, in the name of you, we decree and declare. The earth shall not swallow me, nor any of us do this year. All through this year, under the mighty name of Jesus, we decree, for you are the mediator of the new covenant. According to Hebrews 12, 24, we decree that the blood of strength speak of better things than that are able. So it, by divine authority, be, we decree the earth shall bless us. Better than we decree favor, protection, and healing. In Jesus' name, we decree blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So if you read the book of... um. Um, what's the scripture? If you read the book of Genesis 4, Cain slew his brother Abel, and the Lord caused the devil to cry out against Cain. So Abel, Abel's blood was screaming out judgment against Cain. So basically, it was a mark on Cain for the rest of his life. So basically, you know, the Lord was saying anyone that tried to kill Mark, um, kill Cain, they will have, you know, they'll be, they, they will have judgment. <clears throat> So he was actually being preserved to the day of destruction, actually. So, um, <clears throat> because, you know, back then it was, you know, you, know, you, you can look, sin one time under that first covenant, you just had to mess up one time and judgment is against you. So, um, the blood of Abel was speaking judgment. So, um, what do you can declare? Any evil judgment from the earth that's speaking against me and our families, because of health, because of finance, because of career, because of destiny, because of glory, because of virtue, because of star. Gets our finances, gets our marriages, gets our friends, gets our destiny. Oh, God, about that, that evil will be a verse back to the center. That it be a verse back to the center. That it be a verse back to the center. We decree and declare we are liberated. We decree and declare we should not die. But we should decree and declare the wonderful works of the Lord. So, evil men and women, instead of using the earth for good good things, they use it to curse people. But us, us as children of God, we use it for good purposes. Amen. So, Father Lord, let every negative word that's spoken against us um, for the earth or by any occult men and women that are using any rituals that has been carried out against our life and the love of the Lord. According to um, Isaiah 8, verse 10, they should take counsel together, but they shall not. They should speak word, but they shall not say, but the declare that the earth judge them in the name of Jesus Christ. That the earth judge them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we declare divine judgment for the court of heaven. And put them to the earth, cry against them. Oh, that might so much. Any witch, any any devil, any was any unrepentant enemy, any stuff of sort, that the earth, cry against them and everything that is connected to them. Oh, that might name with Jesus. In Jesus Christ, by the name we pray. Amen and amen. And um, that's all I got now. These are the mysteries that's, that we suffer from. So now that you know, people can speak to the earth and curse you. Um, and the earth is actually like an altar, the earth is an altar itself. <clears throat> So, you know, people have people that um, consult with their ancestors, their so-called ancestors, but they really consulted with demons. They, they've been bewitched and manipulated to think that, you know, they're talking to the ancestors that died off and that they're, you know, giving them information and wisdom on things. It even helped to destroy a person. So, um, yeah. But they couldn't declare no weapon, fast, funny, so prosper. But they couldn't declare um, Psalm 23 over our life and our families. That is surely that God's goodness and mercy follows all the days of our life. And, they, and, they, and it's even in, um, I believe it's in Hebrews or Romans. said, um, even through famine, even through revilings, necessities, even through uh, persecutions, and even through death, no life, no death, no angel can separate the love of Christ. Nothing, nothing can separate us. Our sins can't separate us from the love of Christ. You know, nothing. So we declare that despite what we go through, we cannot be separated from Christ. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Um, Jeremiah 29, 11. So the thoughts of the Lord started with the thoughts of peace that are evil to bring us to expect it in. So we declare that that expected in should be peace, breakthrough, miracle, rest. That the mighty, we declare and declare that expected in should be testimony, deliverance, divine intervention, divine recompense. I don't mind saying we decree. I expect that in shall be overflow, advance, increase. What is a job, ministry, promotion, 
in Jesus' name. But you can declare, um, I expect it in. It should be all around favor, all around blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Um, let's do, let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to Isaiah 55. So it's always good if you don't decree against your enemies, if you don't de decree against Satan's agents, you know, you, you won't see changes. And then his decrees that he's decreeing against you will prevail. So let's go to Isaiah 55 verses. Um, so it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So we ought to see the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon from our thoughts or not your thoughts. The Lord sent his thoughts and other thoughts. And neither is his ways or our ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than, than the earth. I mean, so are my ways than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain coming down, that is the snow from heaven. That it returned not thither, but the water of the earth. So as the water, water of the earth, the rain, they make it to bring forth the bud. So the rain, the earth will not yield any fruit, any wine, any corn, any oil without rain, without water. So the Lord is like water to us. <clears throat> he he um waters us. He brings down blessings. He brings down the water, and we yield a beautiful harvest. And the 